Welcome to Six Figs. I'm Kyle. We're going to be talking about the internet computer ecosystem, which is about to freaking explode, baby. And we're going to be talking about the ecosystem, coins, projects, and some altcoins within the IC that I'm paying close attention to. You see, one philo goes on to say that crypto is top overall coins by development activity the past 30 days. Definity ranks first place. Bum link, I'm going to call him bum link, chain link, broken chain link, is second. Starknet, never heard of him. Cardano, I've heard of that one before, trust me. And Polkadot. Now, what's interesting about this is that Internet Computer has twice as much development as the next best thing, broken chain link. And when it comes down to it, we're going to see something absolutely pop off like you have never seen before. And that's called Caffeine AI, baby. Now, when this thing gets into the hands of the general public, we're going to see development absolutely, absolutely shatter all of these other projects. Because there's going to be potentially tens, if not hundreds of thousands of developers people developing using caffeine AI on the internet computer within the first couple months to a year, it's not even going to be funny. We're going to be seeing competition get eaten up so fast, and it's going to make everything else look absolutely irrelevant. I'm not saying that all of these other chains don't have value because we need as many chains in the ecosystem, in the cryptoverse as possible. I think that over time, we want the best chains all connected together. That is my vision, at least that I hope for in the future. We may not see it in my lifetime or our lifetimes, but I'm hoping that's what we see down the road. Again, Caffeine AI they're doing a in-person event, Definity is, July 15th, San Francisco. Get your ass out to San Francisco. Sit down, try Caffeine AI. Try um, you know, networking with other people. I think that this is going to be a great thing. I'm like 85% chance going to go, um, but I'm just kind of trying to take care of a few things here on my end. One thing that I thought that was really interesting is a post by Lofty on X. Very, I, I'm always very drawn to these types of graphs because they're easy to understand. You simply just need to look at these nice um, half moons and you can understand where the price is going. Now, I can say this. Whenever we see these crazy liquidity crises or big sharp downturns in the market like the F crash of FTX for example um, that brought the crypto markets and all the contagion brought the crypto markets to its damn knees right so we saw that that was a catalyst we saw the bottom come in right after that and we were off to the races coronavirus baby now we had some really nasty stuff going on during the pandemic especially right at the beginning we saw bitcoin hit what 3800 or 4k on some exchanges that was serious that was the bottom that was the new beginning so even though we're seeing these crypto markets absolutely suffer at least since december we had that very nice run up last fall this december to now you know end of june we've been it's a slaughterhouse the crypto slaughterhouse so um, whether or not these cycles repeat is anyone's guess, but history tends to repeat itself, and if it doesn't, it rhymes, right? No bull run is going to be exactly the same, but it could rhyme. So we're hoping to see that, and I do think that we could see going into 2026 some big, big time higher number Bitcoin prices. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Definity announces Chain Fusion with Solana. This basically means that ICP smart contracts can now interact with Solana as well as Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is really a cool thing. You can now port over tokens from the Solana ecosystem into the ICP DEXs and things like that. You know how sexes basically have tokens from all the different ecosystems. Like it's great, right? That's 
a major draw for sexes, centralized exchanges like Coinbase. DEXs, it's very hard to do that because there's bridging involved. There's a lot of engineering, things like that going on behind the scenes. So with that said, when we see this chain fusion, you know, it really helps um, bring this connectivity um, to to the, the space. Um, Taco Dow. Now, Taco Dow has sponsored this video. And when it comes down to it, I like the project with or without the sponsorship. And when it comes down to it, they're doing due diligence. Uh, they, they did due diligence for Sneed. And what you guys don't understand is that Taco Dow is this great portfolio. They're looking to collect a portfolio of the best tokens, projects in the internet computer. And they're looking to ride the waves um, with everybody else. And this is a great thing. So when it comes down to it, we're going to start to see um, Taco Dow possibly start investing in a lot of these other blue chip tier altcoins on the internet computer. And I do think that this is going to do tremendous things for Taco uh, Dow and Taco Token. We'll talk about Taco Token in just a second. But um, really, when it comes down to it, there's only 7.7 .7 million taco tokens in circulation. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with this going forward. And I think that there's some big things to come. It's very unique in its own way and really something that hasn't really been done um, that I'm aware of on the Internet computer as of yet. Um, crypto markets absolutely in the shitter this whole last week or two, especially with this terrible conflict going on between Israel and Iran. We all know about it. I haven't met one person that's happy about it, especially the investors, right? Um, I think that they need to get their shit figured out in the Middle East. It needs to come to a stop, 110%. Um, whether you like it or not, uh, they, those two countries need to refer to diplomacy or come up with some way um, to solve this, this, these issues. Now, I've been talking about the possibility of ICP retracing, and I've been talking about this in the FOMO Factory, which is an open chat group that I have for trading on the internet computer or you know some Solana projects I talk about. Uh, we talk about stock options every once in a while, things like that. This is a safe haven for trading. I draw my thoughts on the markets, and I share everything live here first before I share anything, if I do at all, on X. The price to get into the FOMO factory is one ICP. You can get in, and that's a lifetime membership. So you can get in now for under $5 for a lifetime membership. Scan this QR code. And I'd love to see you guys in there. But on Tuesday, when the price of ICP was at $5.35, I was telling the, the fam, hey, guess what? We got a rising wedge on the daily. I just paired with this bearish news with this war stuff. I don't think this is going to end too well. And I'm telling them what my thoughts are on the market Sure enough, I update them like a couple days later. And right now, we're seeing ICP wick down to $4.82. So it's interesting when I see the timeline on X and I see all these people, understandably so, hurting and suffering um, over the price. I can't help but to just say, spend the $5.00. Maybe this open chat group I've created will save some of your sanity. Now, this isn't meant to be trading advice or anything like that. This is just my raw and honest thoughts on the markets. Um, I'm a pretty successful trader. Um, so when it comes down to it, um, it, it is what it is. Obviously, nobody can predict black swans, warfare that just spontaneously breaks out. But um, yeah, hit up open chat, and that's that's where we're at. While we're on ICP, you know, this looks to me we're on the three hour. Let's go to the four hour chart. You know, to me, it, this looks like some sort of sharp drawdown, and it's almost a channel. But you could maybe make the argument that there could be the possibility of some sort of falling wedge um, that is forming here. I'm not sure, but 
on the four hour chart, RSI is in the tank. We're just about to hopefully see um, this flip and start going bullish again. But getting back to this daily, this is where I get a little bit concerned because there is a very nice rising wedge on the ICP charts. This is a bearish pattern that forms in the markets. And I'm hoping that we don't see buying power or price action decline as a result of this. But this is a multi-month pattern. It's not a short time frame pattern, which basically is, you know, it is what it is. It's not good. Um, so I'm hoping that with the news of Caffeine AI, we can see the effects of that rising wedge on the RSI lesson. And really, there is this great opportunity still um, for, in my opinion, maybe the start of some sort of ascending triangle. So um, this is where price action reaches higher lows, right? So we want to see these lows continue to get higher. We want to see these highs kind of plateau out. And eventually what's going to happen is the fact that price typically inverses and it does this and it goes on a rampage so this is my hope for now um, you could argue that there is an inverse head and shoulders and you can argue that there is a head and shoulders pattern and so you can kind of see where the inverse head and shoulders pattern is but then again you could also argue that there is a head and shoulders pattern here and this might be the one to watch out for with that RSI getting ready to dump. I'm hoping that we don't return to lower prices like in the three to four dollar range. I mean, it might be, might happen. Uh, Sneed Sneed is now in the Taco Dow trusted token, and I just wanted to cover them because I haven't really covered Sneed too much. Um, but on this uh, one hour chart, you can see over the course of the last 10 days or so, price action is kind of forming. It's squeezing this falling wedge. And I do think there might be an opportunity for price action to rebound and start stripping to the upside. If it does, I would love to see it fly through this cloud and maybe work its way up to this 200 moving average right around 74 bucks. So I don't know, guys. It is what it is, um, but I would love to see it go a little bit higher. On a grander scale, you know, we're going to see all these altcoins fluctuate wildly, in my opinion. It doesn't matter if it's Sneed, doesn't matter if it's um, Taco Dow, EXE, Bob, whatever. I do think that there is a chance to see some big volatility, uh, especially if the markets are collapsing under warfare and stuff like that so there could be the argument that there could be some sort of inverse head and shoulders here forming on the larger time frame exe i mean to me this looks halfway decent even though there was that sharp sell-off there is still somewhat of an ascending triangle that is forming we're seeing these highs continually get lower or these lows continually get higher my bad <laughs> but uh, so it is what it is. I'm hoping to see um, EXE run back up to about that 18 cent position uh, or level in. I'm going to strategize a position for myself, potentially pending breakout. So Bob is looking kind of interesting as well. I um, haven't really kept up with too much of Bob, but I know there's a little bit of drama, and I really haven't heard anybody whining or complaining on the feed lately, which is great because that's something that I hate to see. But Bob is forming what is called a falling wedge on a much grander scale, and I might look into taking up a position on this as well, but I need to do my own research to make sure that everything's in the clear with this. Now, I was telling you guys all about Gold Dow um, back when it went SNS. A lot of people were just upset and wild about it. Oh, it's a scam, this and that, blah, blah, blah. 
Well, now there's more. It seems like the last month or two, there's been more excitement about Gold Dow than any other project in the eco, folks. And, you know, I try my best not to pick out absolute shitters. And I've done a pretty dang good job of that so far. You know, you could argue that Gold Dow could potentially be um, already experiencing a falling wedge which is extremely bullish there's several different factors here and i think that there could be some sort of test that happens here of this upper trend line regardless we could draw this upper trend line here and we're still in a very nice multi-year nearly falling wedge so i do think that gold dow is possibly going to gain more traction as one of the better blue chips in the ICP ecosystem uh, going into this next altcoin season, whenever that happens, guys. Who the heck knows? Uh, let's look at chat, ICP. Um, you know, everybody loves open chat. It's one of the greatest decentralized uh, social media uh, messaging platforms that I think I've used. So with that said, I hope that they do well, and I hope that the holders of chat do exceptionally well as, as well. But we're seeing this real, real, um, you know, stable um, support right around this 15 cent level. Uh, it is what it is. Saw some very nice chop. Of course, December, the bottom fell off. I think if the markets would have rallied, this project would have rallied with it. But December to now, the markets, like I said, I've been in a meat locker uh, getting butchered. Um, so projects, you know, you know, fall off. I, I don't think that this was a result of anything that Open Chat did. So we're seeing a very nice, steady, um, you know, accumulation around this 15 cent level. And I would love to see the price action really maintain this. Uh, steadiness, maybe squeeze into a symmetrical triangle or flag or something like this. But I'd love to see this 200 curve. And I'd love to see the price run up to about maybe 20 cents and start checking that 200 moving average on the daily uh, going into this fall. And maybe we could see a very nice cup and handle uh, as a result of this uh, this uh, tragic uh you know, drop off that we saw in December, but we could maybe see something like this occur and then it's off to the races. So there's actually a pretty nice uh, start to a setup here. I'm going to wait for a breakout before I reassess my own position on this. I know a lot of people have been talking about cloud. In the last video, I mentioned that cloud could be setting up for a very nice cup and handle. It just kind of appears that way to me. I don't own any cloud, but I know there's a lot of people bullish on cloud right now. And when it comes down to it, I think we're going to see maybe a symmetrical triangle squeeze right into this 50 moving average to check that uh, 50 moving average. And in a lot of cases, you'll see price action bounce off the 50 moving average and the shoulder of a cloud, the Ichimoku cloud, that is. So this is what I'm looking for is a little price action right in here, uh, form this handle. And I think that it would be off to the races. And I do think that this could be a bigger performing, um, you know, token. Again, I don't hold any. Uh, Taco Dow, I'm bullish on everything that Taco Dow is doing. I just met with the team today, uh, just doing a quick checkup, see what's going on. Um, you know, they are kind of in this symmetrical triangle squeeze at the moment, we're seeing prices, what is going on? We're seeing prices really kind of squeeze out right now. And I'm hoping that we start to see um, something start to pop here. What gets me bullish about this on this uh, four hour chart is that price is far away from this Ichimoku cloud and the cloud is thin. RSI is in the tank, so that means that there's uh, you get some buying power, and we're going to see this thing break right through this cloud. And I would love, I would absolutely love to see Taco Dow form what is called an ascending triangle, which you guys have heard me talk about now in this video for a little bit. And I'm hoping to see a little bit of a launch platform, no pun intended, form. Something like this where we can start to see price really appreciate 
uh, quite nicely. But that's all I got for you guys today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.